it's Ashley the Thrifty Chica here on YouTube and today I'm going to teach you all about how you can use Design Space like a pro and in this video I'm going to teach you all the tips and tricks that I know to help you use Design Space like you've been using it for years and in this video we're going to teach you all about how to use the contour feature inside Cricut Design Space. This is a great tool for editing so that you can take a design, you can personalize it, you can customize it, you can remove, you can add in pieces so stay tuned and don't miss out. So if you're following along at home, um, if you are using the desktop version of the software, it will look the same to you as to what I'm using. Um, if you're using the phone or the tablet version, it will look slightly different. Um, on the bottom right hand corner of the desktop um, setup, you'll see slice weld, attach, flatten, and contour as options. If you're using your phone, you're going to see that along the very bottom of the screen um, as the option. So just so that you can follow along with me. So when do you use the contour feature inside a project? This is something I run across quite often. A lot of times we find a really cute design that we like, but there's something just off about it or we want to change it just slightly. So this is a really great way to go in into an adapt um, a project that you're working on so that it meets your needs and you can customize it even more. This is something I feel like is an advanced feature and it's really awesome and very easy to use. So even if you're a beginner, don't be afraid of trying this one. So I went into the images section of Cricut Design Space and I picked up this one which is a holiday image and it says Gnome for the Holidays and I thought this was super cute and what I wanted to do is to adapt this so that we could use it for um, every day and I thought this would be really cute as maybe a little image to go on a card for maybe a housewarming instead of just a holiday card. So I'm going to show you how you can adapt that. So the first step to adapting this is you're going to take your image and you're going to figure out what it is that you need to alter in it. Um, is there something you need to add to it, something you need to remove? Um, for me, I want to change the wording on this. So it says gnome for the holidays and it's super cute for the holidays, but right now I want it to say welcome gnome. You know, we'll play on the puns here. So what we do is we you're going to click on the image or you can drag and click to select a box around the image, it will highlight along the bottom the different features that are available to you. If you go to the very right corner, it says contour. We're going to click on contour. And what it does is it brings up a screen that you can use. And on the image below, you can select outline portions to cut off and on. So if you clicked on this, this tells Design Space what sections to cut out. And it's all adapted into each little feature. So say you wanted this, but you didn't want the little outside of the windows, you could click on that so it takes that off. It also shows you in pieces on the very right hand side, um, all the different pieces. So you can select it this way too. I'm a visual learner, so I like to click on the actual image itself so it's easier for me. But you can also scroll through this and pick the different pieces. So say you didn't want the snow falling, you can remove that as well. So for me, I want to remove the letters so I can go here and just click on them and you have to click all the little individual pieces so that they're off and so it's not cutting that. So the only downside to using the visual side of the screen is that you have to click all the little tiny pieces to remove them. If you want to make it faster for yourself, you can go into the right hand corner of the screen here and look for the words and it'll be a little bit faster. So this right now, because this is highlighted a, a darker color, gray, you know that this is not going to be cut. Anything that is the, the white light gray background here will be cut. So I'm going to scroll and that's already been highlighted. I'm going to highlight the H because we don't want that anymore. Highlight the F, highlight the holidays part. Let's see if there's any pieces I'm missing. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't, it looks like these are also parts that are included. So I'm still going to go back in and just doubly make sure that no pieces are left behind here. So we don't want any of these cut. So I'm removing those all. And this is a somewhat more complicated. And as you can see in the background here, um, you can also see what's still left here. So the the is still highlighted. So we're going to have to remove that as well. So 
so it takes that away. So if you look at the the item um, in the background, you can see that it's removed all of that writing already, and you can see it's all removed here as well. So you can click off of this when you're done, or just hit the X. There you go. And you can take your words that you want to include, and then now you can add it wherever you want to and add it. So I'm gonna just move that up there, and then. I'm going to drag and click to create a box around it and I'm going to group those together now. And then what it will do, um, you can create it like that and it will cut them still a separate, in, separate thing. So this is all one image except for the words on the bottom. You can attach that so it keeps the same position. Or if you're happy with the size and you know you don't want to alter this anymore, um, you can hit the weld button and it will cut it all as a single piece. However, once you use the weld feature, it will stay welded. So only use the weld feature when you want something to be permanent. So I'm going to go ahead and click weld because I want this all to be one image. And there it is. It's all in one piece. We're going to click make it. And when you go to cut it on the mat, you can see that it's all in one image. So that way you can just, um, you could cut this in HTV or iron on vinyl and you could make a cute little t-shirt. You can cut this in um, you know, regular vinyl and add it to a little card. You could do so many different things with it. But this is a great way that you can go ahead and alter an image to be exactly what you want. If you okay, now that we've seen how you can take away something and add to it, I'm going to show you how you can duplicate other aspects of a design using the contour feature too. So I went back to the pre-stage before we had all of this where we just had it removed. So if you want to take this design you right click on it and you hit duplicate you can move this out of the way let's duplicate that and say we wanted to duplicate our little gnome person we wanted to make it a two-person gnome house instead of a one-person gnome house so how can we do that we can take the design and click contour and we can go back in and hide all of the different aspects except for the little gnome here so what if we just started hiding all of these pieces? In fact, it'd be faster if we use this section here. If we go through, that is the gnome, so we're gonna leave him there. We're just gonna go ahead and select all of the pieces that are not the gnome. And that way, we can just have our little gnome here. This is, this is just a way of copying him. There's other ways that you can do it as well. However, this is a very easy way. Oops, I clicked on his mustache. And if you see other pieces that are sticking out and you just find it easier to visually click on them, you can do that as well. So we're moving the house. Almost done. This is, there are multiple ways, something I really love about Design Space, there's multiple ways to achieve the same project. So that is just one way of doing it. So we're gonna click the X, we're gonna X out, and here is our little gnome. So if we put the little welcome gnome sign back, maybe we add our little gnome here, and there's a pair of gnomes now. That's just an example. So, and then you would drag and click a box around it and you can group those together and you can attach them so that they retain the same position. And if you were happy with the design and you didn't want to change anything else, you can click weld and it will cut it as a single image and we'll go to make it. And there you go. Now it's ready to be made. Um, so you can cut it out and it's ready to go.
Thanks so much for watching the video. If you haven't yet, make sure to click the like button and leave a comment below letting me know any questions or comments or content that you would like to see so that I can help you do your very best with Cricut Design Space. And if you haven't, check out the cards on the top of the video and it'll lead you to a playlist showing you all the content that I have for Cricut so that you can use uh, Design Space just like a pro and you can create some really beautiful custom projects using Dollar Tree items. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks so much for watching.